Apparently, a diner in Florida is serving up some food and justice. The story's great. Reporter Ted White shows us how deputies arrested a bank robbery suspect as he was sitting there having his breakfast. Here at the Flamingo Diner, the food is served hot, but talk about the man who robbed the bank down the street is even hotter. This is the uh, most major thing that's ever happened like that in this area. But he knew where to come for the last good meal. <laughs> Martin County Sheriff's deputies have been looking for this man ever since he robbed a bank on Salerno Road Wednesday afternoon. They started working with their sources of information, confidential informants, looking at jail record pictures, and finally we we narrowed it down to uh, Navarro as our suspect. Sheriff William Snyder says Michael Navarro lives in the area and is known to ride his bicycle everywhere he goes. They also received another valuable piece of information. The yeah, Flamingo is, is a restaurant he really likes to frequent. Thursday morning, deputies arrived here and got right to work. We found his bicycle at the uh, restaurant right there, Indian Street and U.S. 1. Looked inside and he was having breakfast. And then a couple of detectives went inside, sat down with him, and once they were close up and could tell it was really him, he was dining on eggs, uh, bacon, and potatoes. Cops came in and came and sat at his table, two of them at his table, and um, he was eating his food. They let him have a couple more bites and reached over and told him, you know, what we're here for, and yes, and they handcuffed him and walked him out. We had a full house, and you know, people thought something was going on, but it was very quiet. They really handled it well. That was Ted White reporting. Sheriff's deputies say Michael Navarro ate at another restaurant before the bank robbery and left without paying the bill. Also, Navarro didn't pay the tab at the diner where he was arrested, so the deputies covered that.